Am I the arsehole? For telling my eels I will not be changing the name of my bakery just because they work there? Am I the arsehole? Not the arsehole and you have much bigger problems than the name of your bakery. They think they own it now. You need to be very clear that it is yours and only yours. They work there only. They do not have any say in how it is run. They have gotten way too comfortable. Not the arsehole. Like this is their family business too. But it's not their family that built this and not their business. Not the arsehole. Die on this hill. This bakery has a long family history behind it that is deeply meaningful to you in ways that your in-laws will never understand. Not the arsehole. Maybe I'm old-fashioned but an employee trying to claim ownership is gross misconduct in my opinion. Time to change some staff emo. Not the arsehole quite frankly I'd want them out of there. They obviously feel like they have some ownership in the bakery. I think you need to make it clear this is a family bakery but not their family's bakery and you will continue to honor your mother's legacy. Not the asshole they want to destroy what your parents left behind for you and change it to be their own when you are the owner and they are workers. In fact fire them if they're going to be controlling and try to make the bakery their own without it being that way. Your wife sounds lovely and I love how you said you could continue working at the bakery if you wanted to you. It wasn't forced upon you, you just wanted to be there and keep that family business going as a family business. Keep up the good work OP hope you have a great day at your bakery. Not the arsehole. Wow Mill and Sill are extremely entitled. It's your business, named after you by your parents. I think it's amazing you're keeping your mother's legacy moving forward. Don't ever change it, you'll never forgive yourself if you do. You're, like you said. Nothing is keeping them there. Something tells me if you actually did cave and change the name, that eventually it'd turn into we should also have our names on the business no, for family's sake. Don't do it up. Keep your mother's legacy alive. Not the asshole let me get this straight your eels want you to wipe out the work your family put in, sacrifices they made small businesses are a labor of love and labor because of the darling names they thought up. This involves memories of your deceased parents, your dreams and ambitions of making the bakery a success for yourself and in honor of your parents. They are idiots. Not the asshole stand your ground. If they don't like the name of the bakery, they are more than welcome to go find a job elsewhere. Congrats on the baby. Natar. They should open their own bakery if they want to own one so bad. Plenty of businesses are still thriving today named after the people who started them. Henry Ford, John Cadbury, Abercrombie Fitch etc. It's just going to be a random name in the future. No, it's going to be your name in the future. Your future generation's great great parent's name. But they told me I was being deliberately obtuse. Not the asshole, I think your relatives are being obtuse. The store's name is Wendy's. No, Wendy does not work there anymore. No, the business will not survive if it's renamed Pearl Smithing. Oh, wait, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Keep the name. Change the staff. Not the asshole. Lots of people work for companies without getting their name added to it lol. Unless they invested a significant amount of money in the business and are legally partners, they have no say or right to make these demands. Not the asshole. And maybe consider letting them go so they can have the named bakery of their dreams. Not the asshole, not only is changing a business's name for no reason a bad business decision your parents put their lives into that place and it would be an insult to them. Not the asshole. If they want to name a business they can open their own. Not the asshole. They are your employees. They have no stake in the business. They have no claim to the business. Stay strong and keep shutting them down. This is your legacy. Not theirs. They can pound sand. Stand firm. It is still a family business, owned and run by the son of the original owners. Several members of my family once worked for a large, international business and they never changed the name to that of our family.
Also, the bakery has been around for many years, and I can assure you that long-time customers will still refer to it by its original name. Not the asshole family businesses can be tough. I worked in one for a while. Part of it is outside influences thinking they have ownership. Like someone on a W-2 or even their spouse. I would be careful of what they might be doing behind the scenes overseeing staff, handling money, buying products anything that can negatively affect the business make sure you have some checks and balances in place. Not the asshole. The name of the bakery has extremely personal history to you. It should not be changed unless you want it. If they want to name their own business, they should start one. Not the asshole. You're not only reasonable but your beloved has your back. There's no fundamental reason to change the name. Your mill doesn't appreciate the value of brand trust and awareness. They just want to feel more included and like this is their family business too. It's not their family business. It's also not their family's business or their business at all. Not the asshole. Obviously not the asshole. Your eels have no connection to the bakery other than you through marriage. It doesn't matter that they work there. They are trying to steal what is your family bakery and turn it into their family bakery. Outstanding hill to die on. Not the asshole. They have some nerve. It is not their family business. You should just bluntly tell them it was and is still your mom's business, and you won't be listening to any more suggestions from them. Not the asshole, they're delusional. The next step would be to ask you make them co-owners. SMH. Stand your ground. I'm so glad your partner has your back. Not the asshole. Just let Mill and Sill go and find other employees. Not worth it. Not the asshole. So you're saying your combined working here, is a bigger claim to my business than my father's who spent a decade not only running this place but at same time raising me to run this place? Let alone what you're saying about my mother. Or me. What was RPL last quarter? The last seven years? Who does the ordering? Who makes the menu? Who does the payroll? What's our biggest cost? What's it cost to run the point of sale software? What's the profit margin on that type of bread? Oh you don't know? Because it's not your business. It's mine. And my name stays on the damn door. Not the asshole. This is not even a topic that is open for discussion. Not sure why you continue to participate in this conversation. Tell them they should feel free to open their own bakery call it whatever they want. It seems to me that the family name of your in-laws feels wrong since they now work for your bakery and their family has thus changed so much. They should change their family name to incorporate son so that they will truly be part of your bakery. Not the asshole. Do not change the name they of have no respect for you if they keep asking. Not the asshole. WTF is wrong with them, seriously. I told them I will not be changing the name just because they work there and if that is a problem there is no reason for them to force themselves to stay if they don't want to. Keep telling them that. Then buy a help wanted sign. If they ask, say that it is clear they no longer want to work there so you are hiring their replacements. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Be warned, this is a power grab. They want it to be their family business, not just your family business. Do not give them any leeway to try to take control. Not the asshole. Fire them because they won't stop. Not the asshole. It's your bakery so name it what you want. Leela needs to check her family. Not the asshole. Are they trying to muscle in on your business? Remind them it is a family business. Your family business. Not the asshole. Your in-laws are ridiculous. Maybe they should seek employment at a business that has a name they approve of instead of working at your bakery when the name offends them so much. Next they are going to ask for a stake in the bakery. I can see that a mile away. Make sure they know they are the help, not partners. Not the asshole, your eel are extremely weird about it, thank god your wife got your side. 
What does it mean it's just going to be a random name in the future it is still your name for fuck's sake. It is your bakery. Not to say more that there is a weight in having the same name of a business over a long period of time, the brand name is recognizable to the community and this can be very beneficial in long term to build larger clientele. Holy crap! Are these people just totally dismissing your family history? Your parents' legacy? Are they being that obtuse? Unreal. The name is a reflection of the people who started the business, your late parents, your relationship to them, your way of honoring them. Your in-laws are beyond insensitive and shallow on this. Not the asshole. Just wow. Not the asshole. You inherit the bakery from your parents and want to honor the name they gave the bakery. As long as business is running, there is no need to change it, why bother? If at one point, your child will take over and wants to name it whatever she can do it, but until then you are in charge. Not the asshole they can open their own bakery. You may need to slowly phase them out and hire people who are not related. Not the asshole. It's your business. You own it. You can do what you like with it. Employees get no say in the name of the business. As you told them, if they don't like it they can leave. If they keep on with this nonsense they can be dismissed. I would have fired them for calling me obtuse. Plenty of people willing to work and do a good job without trying to take over the business.